between the line plots here. So I'm going to talk a little bit more about these compensatory saccades. We've measured them. Again, we had this, this exceptional equipment. We had to put contact lenses in people, people's eyes, and we still do that. It's the most precise way to measure eye movement, but you can imagine it's not done clinically, and the sample sizes are very low. But based on those studies and studies that of these compensatory saccades, again, these are the covert. These are the saccades that are occurring during the head rotation, which you will not be able to see unless you record the eye movement. They reduce gaze position error. Now, gaze position error is simply the difference between target and eye after the head is moved. So if the right vestibular system does not work and we turn the head to the right, the vestibulocular reflex will not keep the eyes stable on the target. After we stop the head rotation, the eye will be off target. And that difference between where the eye is after the head has stopped moving and where the target is, is gaze position error. And there's been numerous studies going back to 1988 that have shown that, that the presence of these saccades has a functional meaning. That they are functionally relevant to get the eye closer to where it should be. The latencies at which these things occur have been reported to be as low as 40 milliseconds. Now that is really phenomenal. Um, latency, again, refers to the onset of the uh, compensatory saccade relative to the onset of the head rotation. So it's the difference between the two. The normal latency of the vestibulocular reflex is about 6 to 10 milliseconds. So the brain generating these saccades does not do as good a job as the nerve. Uh, but 40 milliseconds has been reported in the literature. Most of them occur later, but they do occur in some folks earlier. 